you sound better when you shut your mouth. I said, fuck you. <sighs> what in the wannabe Olivia Rodrigo is this? This is like if Olivia Rodrigo's Good For You meant Dixie D'Amelio's Boy, and then it was taken over by a low budget kids bop and performed at a circus. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Ivan Steph and you guys, I am back. Finally. I, I, I know, it's been a very long time. I really don't want to make another video on Danielle the ice cream cone because, well, at this point, I'm starting just to feel bad. And not for her, I mean for all the girls watching my video who are aspiring to be singers themselves. And don't get me wrong, not all of Danielle's music is bad. Two months ago, I took a look at her R&B song called I'm Done and it was actually pretty fire and I gave it a thumbs up. But her new song, Fuck You, make Dixie D'Amelio look Grammy worthy. I just don't understand this girl. She claims that she's two years younger than she is. She was claiming that she's a Latino queen. Um. Which not only means a queen that is a man, but she's not even Latino or Hispanic. And judging by her new pop punk song called Fuck You, I'm guessing she's emo now. To be honest, Danielle Cohn is like the younger female version of Ollie London, the melting wax doll. Or as I like to call him, Nimij, which is Jimin backwards, because he's the complete opposite of Jimin. Okay, anyways, for today's video, I'm gonna be doing the usual. We're gonna be looking at the song, reacting to it, making some jokes, and just try to give you guys some entertainment. For those who don't know, I'm a big fan of pop punk and punk rock. I grew up with music from bands like Blink-182 and Sum 41, so I will be kind of critical on this song. But at the end of the day, it is Danielle Cohn's music Music that we're looking at so my expectations aren't that high so just before we get into this be sure to leave a like on my video and subscribe if you haven't already or else you will be forced to eat Danielle Cohn's earwax you were eating I don't know I thought you might get mad like, I mean... oh that's nasty Okay, okay, so it's only the beginning, but it is different, that's for sure. One of the good things about this song is that I can actually understand her for once. Yes. She deserved a round of applause for that one. If you've watched my previous videos on her music, you know that I usually have a very tough time understanding her. I'm a threat, I'm a Excuse me? Did this girl really just... What? And she's also had songs in the past where I just can't understand a single word that she's saying. Honestly, I feel like rapping the lines from Eminem's Rap God would be easier than singing some of the lines from some of Danielle's songs. Okay, so far, I don't really mind the song, but it's just the lyrics that I'm confused about. In the first part, she says, you had her makeup on your face, looks better on mine. Saw your hands on her waist, but she don't move you like I do, boy. Which makes it seem like she's still into the guy that she's singing about. But then she said, you sound better when you shut your mouth. So does she love the guy or hate the guy? I got no idea. My understanding from these lines is that she loves the concept of the guy, but she got hurt by him, so she hates the reality of him. Now, I don't know if that's true and Danielle's a lyrical genius, or I'm just thinking too much into this, but if it is true, I mean, I like it. God. What is going on? The song had a decent start to it, like it was bearable considering the fact that my ears weren't bleeding, but now it'd be sounding like a high school talent show. I feel like the main problem here is Danielle's voice. She's simply just yelling in the microphone and it's really bringing out the 15 year old in her. I also find it hard to take Danielle seriously when she screams the lines, but if you look closely, she's smiling. So not only does she need vocal lessons, but acting lessons wouldn't hurt either. Oh my god. Okay, you know that thing that I said about the high school talent show? Yeah, I take that back because now she'd be sounding like a middle schooler. I hope she knows that screaming your lungs into a microphone, jumping around, and waving your hair does not make you a rock star. It takes years of practice and lots of skill. I get that it's her first song like this, but considering all the money she has and how this is her job, you know, she's made so many songs in the past. I just expect more effort from her. I was reading some of the comments on her music video and so many people were commenting saying how they feel like they're watching a drunk karaoke performance. Oh god, okay, okay, that, that is enough internet for the day. This is like, oh my god. You know what, I'm just gonna let Olivia Rodrigo take my reaction to what I was gonna say. What the fuck is up with that? Seriously, what the f- 
fuck is up with what we just watched? We just witnessed Danielle Cohen hop in this guy's lap to give him a lap dance, which is not only extremely inappropriate for a 15 year old to be doing, but just wait until you hear who this guy is. So I found a picture of her and this guy on Instagram and his name is Julian Barboza. And get this, according to Famous Birthdays, he is 20 years old. Yeah, that's right. A 15 year old child is giving a 20 year old man a lap dance. This is literally like CP that we're watching right now. Like how are people okay with this? Somebody please, I'm begging you, give Chris Hansen a call. Oh shit. Okay, I did not expect that. The guy's voice is interesting. I mean, it low key be sounding like he got a hot dog stuck down his throat and developed strep throat, but I mean like in a good way, if that makes sense. I just really wish that his part was longer because it actually somewhat balances Danielle's lack of skill with some actual skill. He's carrying the song so hard right now that he's like the Daryl Dixon of the song or even the Klaus Hargreaves. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that without his feature, the song wouldn't have much flavor. I feel like the reason why the likes and dislikes are somewhat balanced on the music videos because of his 15 second feature. Oh my God, I swear, the more I listen to the song, the more my head starts to hurt. I just can't, the auto tune is too much. And the amount of swearing this song has, it's like the wannabe pop punk wish version of Dixie D'Amelio's Fuckboy. We get it, okay, you're 15, you have multiple piercings, tattoos, and you know how to swear. Do you want a cookie? To be honest, the amount of drama that Danielle Con artist, as I like to say, gets into, the amount of time she's changed her identity from white to Hispanic, to black, now to emo. The fact that she faked a marriage, queer baited, constantly sexualizes herself and is now trying to make rock music. She is literally the product of Ollie London and Trisha Paytas mixed into a single person. Okay, so now I wanna read some of the comments that I found on her music video because they're actually pretty funny. The Dollar General version of Olivia Rodrigo. You sound better when you shut your mouth. That goes both ways, my G. Oh shit, okay, okay. Me, mom, can we have Olivia Rodrigo? Mom, no, we have Olivia Rodrigo at home. Olivia Rodrigo at home. I said fuck you, I hope that you would grab my shoe Punk rock isn't for everyone. Correction, music isn't for everyone. Okay, now that is facts. She's done pop, <laughs> reggaeton, <laughs> R&B, and now poop punk, let's be real, the dislikes say it all. Okay, anyway guys, that's officially gonna do it for this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I wanna know your thoughts about this song, so leave a comment down below, let me know. Make sure to follow me on my social media. I've been pretty active on TikTok. To be honest, my TikTok's doing better than YouTube, but like, you know, YouTube over TikTok still. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah guys, I know my upload schedule has been but it is summer now, I got time to rest, and I'm ready to go back on the grind. But anyway guys, that's officially gonna do it for this video, so until next time, it's been Ivan Staff. Peace. Peace. Ow, that one hurt my arm with the 